Hello. Um, this is our second Q&A session with the Christmas Stocking Project, all for general questions for crawl work, and especially if you've used some of my designs. I differ from many people because uh, the designs I use are mainly historic replicas and using the particular technique of the uh, design. So it does vary throughout my range. Um, the first question is from Marianne and she says, I noticed that you use a wool doubled. Um, should I be doing this in my general crawl work as I only use my wool in single? Well, I use Appleton's wools because they've got a massive um, colour range and they shade beautifully. And if you could just come down to this uh, stocking that we've already done, um, you'll see that these hummocks and the top of the stag and the edge of the leaves, these are worked in a double thread. In fact, with this one, I worked a double thread all the way around in that dark blue, and then I went over again in a single thread, which is a technique just really trying to replicate something I'd seen from about 1700, where I saw layers and layers and layers of the first colour, and it made a really beautiful raised edge. So if you want to use a single thread, that's absolutely fine, but I tend to use a double thread for the first colour, and then come up through it with a single thread, which is very subtle. But this double thread really gives you a nice sharp and heavy edge, which is typical of crew work of late 17th century. So the second question, will you be releasing a palmet kit once you have released the squirrel design? No, I won't be, <laughs> because we've got several designs from the um, palmet I showed you in the previous video, um, which has got the um, the running hare and the Jacobean stag and one or two others and a peacock that's coming out at the end of the year. And uh, all you do is you join them together. They are the same size and you just put a, a stitch down the join. You could just use a feather stitch over the top or something like that if you'd like to make a palmet. And that's again historically correct because they would do that. Um, can you tell me when you get your threads? I'm in the USA or name the brand please. This is Marcella and or Marcella. And, uh, you can, the threads are Appleton's, as I just said, and um, mainly Appleton's. Sometimes I use Renaissance threads, uh, which are very, very thin from France, very beautiful, a um, lot more expensive, but you know, they, they're lovely. So uh, if, you, if you search for Appleton's, you'll find, and stores in America, you'll find that a lot of the needlepoint stores supply the tapestry what we call tapestry in in uk mainly or needlepoint the heavier weight but just make sure they've got the appleton's two ply because you really can't split it um i always shop at um m's needlepoint canvas they've got appleton's walls so uh it's my friend meredith in kentucky so m's needlepoint canvas if you just google them they will supply right the other question is um uh about Oh, I'm new to cool work, but this is from uh, Kay, but I've bought two of your kits. Uh, can I ask, do you release the hoop when you finish embroidering or do you leave it on until the section is complete? I always leave it on. Just leave it on. Why would you release it? If you release it, you then redo it and you get a different tension next time you um, uh, you, you, you stitch. So, for example, this piece here, which I'm doing the stocking top. Um, I started without telling you, I'm going to show you this later. Uh, this uh, is really tight, really firm. Why would I release that? Because all this would be a different tension and I'm only halfway through that area. So you would either be stitching till midnight to finish an area or you would be um, uh, on a slightly different tension on a slightly different area. So I'm not sure where that whole thing of releasing it came from. Certainly in the past when they used frames like this, uh, they would never release that off at the end of the evening. Um, there's just no point. So we'll be using uh, frames later. So equipment, right, what equipment do I need? Well, you need um, linen, you need needles, you need a stash or start of a stash. And um, I've sent a very nice lady uh, today uh, some of my stash because she hasn't got a stash. <laughs> She's brand new to embroidery, so why would you have a stash? So um, my... Uh, nice thing that I've done for myself today is actually to send some some of my stash which is kind of a relief because I don't need all this stuff 